Hey everyone, welcome to The Late Life Lesbian. In this video, I want to share with you some common reactions that your husband or male partner may have when you choose to come out to them. So welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Emily Better. I am a late life lesbian myself and the late life lesbian life coach. So what that means for me is I was married to a man. Um, during this time, I realized that I was truly in fact a lesbian. We ultimately chose to get divorced and I am now out and remarried to a woman. I also now help other women navigate this journey and process of realizing their true sexuality while in relationships with men. So anyways, in this video, as I said, I want to share with you some of the common reactions that men may have when you do come out and tell them about your sexuality. All right. So number one is they may be angry. You know, this can be a common reaction. You know, they might feel deceived. They might feel like the relationship has been a lie. You know, this could just trigger anger. You know, they might have some type of outburst or lash out at you. Um, and so just be prepared that this could happen. Doesn't mean it will last, but the initial reaction could be anger. Now, the second reaction you might have could just be sadness. You know, this can be kind of a big blow and they might have a lot of questions and just feel very sad and down about what this means for the relationship. You know, they might have some of the same thoughts and feelings as they had with anger, you know, like potentially that the relationship has been a lie, but rather than being angry, they might just feel more sadness about it. All right, now the third reaction that they may have is some type of bargaining, meaning that they are trying to like rationalize how to work through this. So there could be a little sadness, a little bit of anger, but their default maybe go to is, okay, what do we do to fix this? You know, how do we make all of this work? And this is where you may see them offer ideas like, okay, well, great. You could have a girlfriend or what if we opened up our marriage and we brought in uh, you know, a third or something like that. You could see them trying to problem solve and figure out how to make all of this work for everyone. All right. Now, the fourth reaction that you might see is some sense of like denial, you know, not believing that this is happening. They might kind of have a reaction of maybe some sadness and some anger sort of like real briefly or you know, or, or even for a little bit longer time, but then you see them really quickly switch to sort of this denial response where, you know, you tell them and then all of a sudden they are acting like you never told them anything and just going about life as it was seemingly like you never shared anything and that life is no different. And Kind of along these same lines, sometimes you even see them starting to do more things, trying to please you more, trying to win you over. This could also be a little bit of the um, bargaining phase, uh, not phase, but like reaction to, you know, they may try to bargain with you. Well, what can I do? How can I make it better? How can I, you know, be what you need? And so you might see some of that and I've had a lot of women share that their husbands will kind of go through this phase of, of yes, trying to, to problem solve, but also even trying to win them over and, and be essentially like a better man or be a better partner in the relationship. And sometimes again, even just ignoring the, the whole news or the information that you shared about your sexuality. Now, the final, the fifth, and final reaction that you may experience is being met with just acceptance. You know, there are some men in this situation that when you do come out and tell them about your sexuality, that you are met with acceptance of, okay, well, you know, thank you for sharing with me. And, you know, I want you to be who you are and I accept you for who you are. And they will be right there with you to navigate through all of this and figure out, you know, what those next steps are after you share. Now, something else I want you to keep in mind and that you may have noticed is that all of these reactions mirror the, 
mirror and are essentially the stages of grief because every person that goes through this goes also through the grieving process. And so while these are each individual reactions that you may experience, it's also often really common to see all of their, these reactions at some point in time. And you never really know what that initial response might be. Again, it could be anger, it could be sadness, it could be bargaining, it could be denial, it could be acceptance. But I've even seen and heard of men that go from being really accepting to then sort of trying, like kind of being in a denial phase. You know, they, they're they all on board and they're supportive, but then all of a sudden they flip and just act like nothing's wrong and, and try to continue to go on with the marriage as if, you know, there is no difference. Or I've seen people go from being, you know, kind of in denial to all of a sudden getting really, really angry all of a sudden and lashing out, you know, or again, you could start out with somebody who initially reacts really angry, but then quickly does move through more to an acceptance response and being willing to be open and work through things. So just something to keep in mind if you are preparing to come out and tell your significant other about your sexuality. And again, just understand that these are the stages of grief and that this is very normal and very common for you and your partner to go through a grieving process and a grieving cycle when you do share your sexuality and that and understanding that that means that your relationship in life as you know it may now be changing. So keep that in mind. Be prepared. You know, if an initial response isn't a great one, just know that acceptance and getting to that point is possible too. You know, everybody involved might need support and might need help and guidance to get to that point, but it's possible to get there. Um, and yeah, and if you are needing some help and support on that journey, I offer some of that for the women going through this. You can check the description and the links below this video for more information on the support and resources that are available. And also, if you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, be sure to like and subscribe so you get notified when I make new content as I am often sharing videos on ideas and strategies and ways to make it through this journey. So thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.